what up, what up, what is up, everybody? And welcome back to the Cornbread Returns YouTube channel. Thank you so much for coming out. I really appreciate it. And welcome back to Let's Play Battletech. Let's play the new Urban Warfare DLC. We are in career mode. We started a brand new career for this series. For all the modifiers on the career, go ahead and check out the description below. It's all down there. There's also a playlist uh, link to the entire playlist. I recommend starting probably at 6 or 7, episode 6 or 7, if you want to kind of skip all the crap. But that will kind of bring you up to date on the latest and greatest that's happened we lost a mech we lost a pilot r.i.p uh hashtag you know r.i.p ip all that great stuff no matter what this is where we are we're pretty light but last episode last episode spoiler alert we were able to actually complete a blackjack we completed another blackjack so now we're rolling two blackjacks deep which is a good thing it is a good thing and the reason is because we were running really really light we were running way too light on tonnage so this will actually bring our tonnage up to a pretty reasonable you know when we're rocking both jenners and both blackjacks i know really exciting right a lot of a lot of hashtag diversity there uh that'd be 90 tons plus 70 to be 160 tons that's better than we were doing before we were running so light before you guys we were in big trouble with how light our our previous uh, lances were and so this is going to really help i know that extra 10 tons doesn't seem like a lot but going from a a um a pretty lightly armored mech to another heavily armored mech plus a lot of guns all that stuff really really effective i think this is honestly going to be a little bit of a game changer for us especially because we are on our way currently to a flashpoint a brand new flashpoint a battle royale one kind of a thing in the new urban warfare dlc so all the flashpoints in this game i'm gonna go ahead and hit uh, uh, play while I talk so we're just traveling yes I know we have we are and we are in deep shit guys uh, we are going to hey let's play to win now nah, let's play casually hey we got our morale back we lost two morale last uh, game um, I'm gonna go ahead and play go, play while I talk because all the new all I should say all the new flashpoints in this are all the new urban warfare DLC flashpoints because we are not running the flashpoint DLC simultaneously with the urban warfare DLC now you that's a little bit of a I, i'm not i'm not telling you not to buy the flashpoint dlc because you obviously get a ton more flashpoints and there's some other cool stuff that comes along with the, that that dlc as well but i will say if you haven't and you do buy the urban warfare dlc you will get flashpoints with it right so you still get access to flashpoints all that great stuff so we are in though financial straits right we, we are in big trouble we literally do not have we're gonna hit bankruptcy and that's the end of the career However, in nine days, we hit our flashpoint, which we will begin right away. And we've got our new blackjack. We're not super under tonned anymore. I think everything's going to be just fine. I know we're low on funds. We get it. You don't have to tell me every time, dude. He's freaking me out, man. Like, I'm already a little bit nervous. And you're just making me even more nervous. Well, there's also travel costs, too, right? So every time we spend, I think what's happening is every time we hit a, a jump point, we actually have to spend some C bills. So he's just freaking out because we just keep spending the very little money that we have left. But not to worry because we're almost there. We're six days till we're there. We're, only, we're, we're going to be 13 days to the next, uh, actually, 14 days. So we're going to be just fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to be okay. Yeah, we don't have much money. I know. But here we are. We have 20,000 C bills and we're about to start our next flashpoint. So we're going to make some money. We're about to make money. There's no consecutive deployments here. This is going to be just fine. Now, normally I'd be a little bit worried because you can see um, there's no tonnage restrictions on this, right? Which normally would freak me out a little bit, but you can see the difficulty of the flashpoint right there. And that's not too crazy, right? Not too crazy at all. So here we go, guys. Tournament of Champions. It's a death match. I like it. Ah, Commander Erickson. Very good. I was hoping you accept my invitation. I am Professor Mencius? Mencius Horvat. And you are to be congratulated. Only the most celebrated mercenary companies are allowed to participate in the Tournament of Champions. Okay, cool. Yeah, thanks. Remind me of what we stand to gain by winning this thing? Never mind that. I want to know what he's wearing. That's a seriously bold look, Professor. I don't even know what I'm seeing here. Yeah, he's wearing some kind of fur. What well, you're seeing, Mr. Vit Vertanen is the hide of the Black Reaper. That's kind of, that's kind of fucking crazy. Oh. Ooh. Apex Predator. Considers humans to be just another food source. I like it. A savage beast, the Apex Predator of Yance 1. And a killer of men. I put an end to this one myself, tracked it for days, stocked it, and then, and lanced it through the heart with a single thrust. Wow, dude, this guy is a badass. 
The hide is as thick as rubber, yet soft as a lover's <laughs> caress. The fur is as luxuriant as it is fragrant. Indeed, this coach is absolutely pregnant. Uh, absolutely pregnant with the beast's incredible mu uh, ind indelible musk. Oh my god. I'm suddenly overjoyed that we aren't speaking to you in person. Now let's get back to this prize purse. How big is it? One million C-bills, winner take all. Of course, that means that there will be no intermediary payouts. Eliminated competitors will walk away with nothing, assuming they walk away at all. Arena combat is rich with peril. It can be as easy to swallow the unweary. Yep, well, we've come this far. That means there's no payouts, though, guys, in between, so we might need to sell some shit just to stay afloat. Uh, so you can't you say, for now, we'll see you in, uh, if you sing a different tune when you're scraping a prized mecha warrior out of a ruined cockpit. Damn, dude. This guy is intense. But if you speak truly, if you are a hunter of men, damn, this is like most dangerous game shit right here, guys. You will find much love in the tournament. For those bold enough to follow our rarefied path, risk is what gives life flavor. It's succulence. Do you salivate at the thought of victory, Commander? Does the prospect of taking all uh, taking all comers and br and breaking them make your heart hammer in your chest? Yeah, dude. Hell yeah. And I will give you that chance. What are the rules? Nope, there's no tonnage requirements. In fact, your battle max won't be required at all? What? Wow. Wow, we don't even get to use our own mechs. Oh my god, they're going to tear us apart if we use our own stuff, guys. Man, monster, wow. Anybody want guess Because I just did. Okay, so, so as long as you honor my master's rule, you'll have nothing to fear from me. Wow. Enforcer. But if you step out of line, I will wrap you in my terrible grasp and squeeze the life from your chest. I won't stop until the ground... Oh my god. I've ground your bones to mulch. Jeez. He is an exaggerating commander. I once saw Gigante strangle a man and his horse at the same time. Enough talk. You know the stakes and you understand the risk. Now is the time to make a decision. Accept my contract and I will test your mecha warriors in the crucible of blood and thunder. Join us if you dare. The tournament of champion awaits. Okay. Well, that was something. Yeah. It wasn't just you, but if this contest is legit, we stand to make a lot of money. And because Horvat's insisting on supplying the hardware, we won't even have to put our own mechs on the line. In light of what we gain to stand, who cares if the host is a little eccentric? Nobody, I guess. I'll get our mech warriors ready. Let's go win ourselves a tournament. I agree. I'm in. Battle, urban, zero reward. Interesting. Weakest link. What's this? Assassinate in the lowlands. Destroy base in the urban environment. I'm almost thinking, guys, just because, like, I'm a little bit nervous. I know as much as I really want to get into this tournament of champions. And we will. We really will. I'm thinking it would make sense to give ourselves a little bit of a financial buffer here. This is a straight-up assassinate. Um... We need this irksome Kip to operative located the targets. Right. Low-level officer in the overall local government's just a link in the chain. We need to dive and take out the target. I'm going to run one of these side missions. This is a pretty easy side mission. It's one and a half. It's not going to be a big deal. It's in the lowlands. Um, I like the destroy base in the urban environment. I, I don't hate that. But this is a straight up... You know what? Actually, let's do this one. Let's destroy this base. We've got a lot of auto cannons. We've got a lot of auto cannons, guys, and this is a pretty easy one. We, we'll be able to attack from range, and it allows us to show off the urban environment. That's the thing I really let's do this. Let's let's do a, let's do a quick cash run right here before we get in the tournament of champions. I just want to make sure we're not going to run into bankruptcy anytime soon. So let's go ahead and negotiate this. Let's run a cash. This is just a quick cash mission, guys. Uh, I'm not going to do. I, I don't even want like a ton. Let, let, let's leave in like. Uh, Let's do a pretty even... Well, it's a base killing mission, so how much mechs are there going to be? Let's do this. Let's take a nice cash mission. Let's do it. Let's get in there. Let's get out. Um, here's what we're going to do. We're going to run both those Jenners. We're actually going to bring the flat line back into it. Because he's a beast. And we're going to give him the other blackjack. Excellent. 
So we're rocking a little more tonnage. We're gonna be in just we're gonna be in good shape. It's an urban environment. We've got uh, two medium max now, two light max. I like it. It's a good balance. Let's run this. I know that we all want to get into the flashpoint, and we definitely, definitely will. But I think that this makes a lot of sense. I'm just worried about our career mode stopping prematurely here, and we don't want that. Definitely do not want to uh, have to give up on this mission. I'm trying to show off as many of these flashpoints as I can. They're pretty cool. Pretty cool way to uh, to boost your scores uh, when you're playing uh, the uh, uh, career mode. So, they don't take much time. They offer consecutive deployments. And plus, a tournament of champions is, is pretty badass. But uh, I think we can just run this mission pretty quick. Then we'll get into the tournament of champions as soon as we are done with this. I think it's all going to work out in the end, guys. Uh, pretty pretty happy with the way this is going. We are a little tight on cash, which why I think which was why I think this really makes a lot of sense. Plus, it's an urban environment, so we're going to check out some of the new DLC. Oh, let's go ahead and start. Command interface initiated. Excellent. So we just dropped. Fairly sh straightforward. Munitions facility. Okay. 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 So we're definitely going to hit run into some, uh, actually, okay. I feel like the game updated recently and that might've helped with the performance in the cities a little bit because, uh, early on the DLC, we were running into quite a bit of performance problems. It's not perfect right now, but it's not bad. Um, let's take our Roycey. He's always kind of our scouty scout. I don't want to run him in too hard. Let's make sure we take a little bit of cover behind this building and we'll see what his sensors can see, huh? Nothing yet. Okay. Yeah. Let's go eyes black next. Roger. If you can't see anything either, eyes black, we're in pretty good shape then. All right, let's move the blackjacks up. N another thing that I like about the blackjacks is they're not slow. Like they're good speed, medium max. I just ah, really like the blackjack. I think in my uh, campaign run of the BattleTech, which is also on the channel, um, so check that out if you never if you've never had a chance to check out this game. Period. It's a pretty cool campaign run. I just run through the entire campaign. Um, obviously, there's going to be spoilers in that, but if, if you're not planning on playing through the campaign, definitely check that out. Uh, I think I used the blackjack throughout the entire uh, campaign, almost the entire campaign. So, uh, let's take Royce. He's kind of my scouty scout. So, the garrison started right up there. There they are. Yeah, there they are. Okay. Now let's get uh, let's get you over here. And in fact, oh shit, no way. Oh uh, yeah, I could. Oh, well, of course you can always jump on top of the buildings. Um, yeah. Why don't you go this way? And normally I don't like to split up my force, but I like the idea of flanking some of these guys depending on which direction they go. So pretty cool too when you're walking and you run into like small little buildings and shit. They just the mechs just destroy them, right? It's pretty sweet. So yeah, we're going to run into some base defenses, guys. So we'll, we'll want to watch out for them, especially if they try to target us and then shoot us long range. We'll want to make sure we're staying in, in relative cover. You. Here's what I'm going to do. Well. Well. If the blackjack gets up on this building, I might be able to hit him. I'm going to sensor lock somebody. Let's just see what we're dealing with, guys. I've got a sensor lock. There's a shadow hawk. Okay. That's a uh, shadow hawk. Is that a shadow hawk? A heavy mech? It might be. It's definitely a medium. I, I know it's a medium, but I'm wondering if it's a if it's a heavy. You know, just because they have a lot of firepower up there, and I don't yet, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start sensor locking these guys and see what they're, we're dealing with here. I've got a sensor lock. Yeah, fire starter. Well, I'm really glad I sensor locked these guys now. Shadowhawk's medium. I think it's the guy number three right there. Got a lock on me. Yeah, that's probably a scout. Yeah, why don't we jump up here and start shooting people? Well, that's pretty exposed. Actually doesn't seem like the greatest idea in the world, does it? Let's just move over here. Go ahead and brace. 
We'll see what they do. I really want them to make the first the first moves here. And normally I, I don't say that, but I, I really in this situation I do. We want to see what they're up to. Still not that great. You know what? Yes, Commander. Let's reserve him. Commander. Oh, he's the last guy to go, so there's there's no reserving right now. Uh, I really don't know what I want to do. What do I want to do? Roger. Yeah, you might as well. Nice. That's pretty. That's pretty solid. Now these these guys are packing quite a bit of firepower. Standing by. But 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 but, and this is a big but. Let's go ahead and keep sensor locking these guys. There are a lot of injured mechs. Yeah, here this guy comes. What are you doing? I don't love that, but I'll be able to kill that locust pretty easily. Nice try. I'm not trying to be timid, but I'm just trying to figure out the right strategy here. Um, yeah, I like this. Get a lot of evasion, and uh, you'll you'll rock a little bit of damage. Excellent. Hit that hit that left arm of his. So that left arm of his is in pretty rough shape all of a sudden. Well, there's, there's a fire starter. Yeah, they're gonna have a hard time hitting that Jenner right there, and that's why I didn't didn't hate that move, even though he doesn't have like cover or li literally anything. There ain't much cover on this map. Let's face it. Here they have a Jenner now, so that's a solid hit. I'll get him out of there though. I'll get the Ro I'll get Roycey out of there pretty soon. So I'm not crazy concerned. Um. Yeah, let's go in and let's go in and start bringing the pain here, guys. Probably, yeah. These guys all have so much evasion. There's just not much to do there. We're gonna kill that arm, right? Yeah. There goes that arm. There goes his auto cannon. So, pretty big strike there. Yeah, he's gonna. Wow, I'm surprised he's not bugging out. Well, he's pretty much worthless at this point, besides melee attacks. So, we're going to probably want to focus on these, some of these other guys. Oh, I don't know what's going on here. You should have a firing at that building. Was that was that what you were just trying to do? Um, what, would, what would going on top of that building actually do for your hit chances, though? To all these guys. Wow. Pretty significant increases, huh? Yeah, let's go after that Jenner. Holy buckets. Well, it sucks that you missed with your... You missed with your bigger thing. But... Whew! Getting lucky on those guys. Those were their autocannon turrets. So we're going to have to watch out for those, for sure. That's what I was a little bit worried about. I was worried about being painted. Commander. Um, yeah, you haven't gone yet, straight up. That's good. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. Do that. Yeah. And you know what we're going to do? What do you got? We're gonna we're gonna precision strike the Jenner. Firing all weapons. He's not doing so hot. He might move the Jenner out of there. Well, here comes the Locust. Not really worried about him. Yeah. Not worried. Nothing I can't handle. Um, yeah, you're going to run into heat problems pretty quick, buddy. Um, but, that being said, 
I read you, Commander. Moving out. You're also gonna get a bunch of evasion pips. Uh, we'll start knocking off some of these lasers. Ooh, that's pretty good. There's a lot of damage. There we go. Kill him. Boom. Come on. Ah, I knocked him down. That's okay. Same thing. That was worth it. I feel like that was worth it. I could end up regretting it, depending on what this fire starter does. Yeah, there comes the flamer on the Jenner. That could take out his right arm. It's not going to be good. Not the worst thing, though. That could have been a lot worse. Um... What if we moved right here and just aimed at that fire starter? Not so hot, huh? Um, but you could do a lot of damage on the Shadow Hawk. Do that. It's okay with me. He's almost dead. Knocked him down. Two knockdowns in a turn, I'll take it. I feel pretty good. You can start knocking guys down. It gets pretty ugly pretty quick. Yeah, Flatline's turn two. We're going to go to that fire starter, I think, guys. As much as I would love to take out, out some of these guys. Well, that's actually not that good. What's this guy got right there? The Jenner? He's got nothing. What's the Shadowhawk got? Quite a bit in that center torso. 50%? Do it. See if you can kill him. You killed him. Yeah, there it is. There's the core. Yeah, make sure that thing doesn't get to go again. Because I think he's probably up next. Jenner's moving. Yeah, he's gonna have a tough time. Yeah, he's gonna have a tough time with it, with hitting hitting everybody anybody. I've been sent along. Yeah, you're gonna get hit. Ooh. Ooh, luckily those are pretty long shots, but the stray shots were hit my freaking blackjack. Damn it. Um. What do we want to do? What if we just move back and? painted this fire starter well I say that but I say that but we actually have pretty good no we don't yeah so here's what we're gonna do we're actually gonna move back what you got on your left side right now pretty good armor right side pretty good armor let's go here Moving out. use a sensor lock on the fire starter He's going to get a move again, I think, but I don't know. Shooting at him doesn't do much either. I think what we're really going to have to do is start getting some melee action going on on some of these lighter mechs. Where you at, Roycey? I don't hate that. Affirmative. Really? Um. Yeah, they're all bad. Do it. Whatever. You hit something. I think here comes the fire starter, I think, now. Yeah. He's gonna have to run one of my blackjacks, isn't he? No, he's gonna have to Jenner still. Okay. Please don't blow off any arms. I'm gonna be so pissed if I lose any arms. I don't have any medium lasers. I'm all out of medium lasers. Just cut it out. Ugh. Stray shots are all hitting my... See, they're lining up their shots, like, with my other guys in the background, aren't they? They're being real smart about that. It's pissing me off, but it's very effective. Um... Would this give me a pretty good shot at the fire starter? It would. And you know what? Yeah, we're going to run into heat problems pretty fast. But if I took one of these down, and then I did a precision strike on this fire starter, I'm going to do it. I could core it. That was very close. That was very close to coring that thing. In fact, yeah, this is what you're going to do. You're not going to do anything except just straight up try to kill this guy. There it is. Excellent. Huge. That auto cannon 5 is, is vicious at this range. I actually kind of like 
having a little bit of diversity in the weapons that we have. Ooh, that's not good. That's not good. We need to get the general out of there. Not good. It's not good. No. Yeah. Where are you? Let's get you out of here. You can't do any good over there anyway. Time to fly. Yeah, let's get you out of there, Royce. Um, and then why don't you lay a center lock on somebody? Uh, how about the locust? Let's lock. start going after him next. All right, that's fine. Yeah, you're gonna be okay. Uh, eyes black. Why don't you get in behind and do a flanking shot on the locust? I think that's gonna be just great. Yeah, nice flanking shot here. Um, basically ignores cover. Whoa, what do we just, what do we just blow up? Yeah, he, the locust is all of a sudden is not having a good day. Uh, and I think he just went so. Taking some pretty hard hits there, but that Jenner I think is gonna run into some heat problems. Yep, there he is. He's in he's in heat problems. Um, what if we just went down here? We probably can't shoot. We probably can't shoot with like anything. Basically, have to turn all the medium lasers off, and then it's even worth shooting the auto cannons. But if we shot now, no, it's not. Well, we have lots of ammo. Screw it. You get lucky. Not we got actually did get a little bit lucky, didn't we? Um, yeah. And you're gonna come down here and, and try probably try to finish that guy off. Really, that Jenner. Oh, it's indirect fire. That's right. Oh, that's a Jenner. Whoopsies, whoopsies. I meant the locust. Got it. Well, you have multi-targeting. Why don't you? Why don't you do a little multi-targeting? Um. Send that at the Locust. Well, what's actually better on the Locust? They're both 45. Do it. Multiple enemies locked on. Locust is about toast. Had a little bit of armor, though. That one. A little bit of armor. Wow. Holy buckets. See that's why this is the this is the the great equalizer in this. The great equalizer here is the mere fact that they have ranged weapons. That um that just by these guys having, you know, targeting on it. There we go. So there goes their Jenner, who is, I think, next to shoot anyway. Um, so that's good for me. Here comes the Locust. Little melee attack action. Well, that's actually pretty good, because I think I think that's my... the. Yeah, Cornbread's missing something. Or he's, uh, he's weak on something. Go over here. You know what? Why not, dude? Took out one of his evasion pips. It's the toughest locust I've ever seen. Boom. That's right. Torso's gone. Flatline, why don't you come over here and just, uh, yeah. Well, little buddy, it's been nice knowing you. <laughs> Oh, auto cannon five is just brutal. That's a vicious weapon. Tango down. Yeah. So I don't. Yeah, yeah. They they won't be within. We won't be within range now of their uh, cannons. Just excellent. Got it. Let's go ahead and use our. Oh, we got to jump. Yep. Let's start sprinting. Um, I want to sprint this way though. I don't want to put my Jenners in, in very much uh, harm's way here. I think the idea is going to be making sure we we don't. Receiving you. Are we in combat now? Yeah, we're in combat. Commander. Got it. 
So, the good news is, the light laser turrets, 45, 7, so we need to do 50, 75 damage. Uh, let's back off one of these, and we should be good. Tell me what to Boom. Excellent. So, I was, like, I was basically counting for one miss, right? So, that was kind of my, my tactic there, was counting for one miss. Uh, let's sprint you down here. I don't want you to take any shots from any of those turrets. Those auto cannons will shred through my Jenners so fast. Oh, excellent. Boom. So that's another nice thing about having those, uh, the, a, a larger auto cannon, right? So, like, I really like the prospects of having that, actually. I might even grow to like that setup that he's rocking a little better than the one I am. Now, he's got one medium laser, but what if... What if he had a little less armor in another medium laser? Because we did put a lot more armor on that guy. And I don't think he needs it, to be honest. Oops. Let's go ahead and sprint uh, Cornbread forward. I really don't think he needs it. That's why I say... That's the only reason I say that. I do like having it though. It's just those, those, those auto cannons are just they're savage. Savage, savage devices. Um Yeah. Well, you're actually running into a little bit of a heat problem, aren't you? So why don't you go ahead and move right there and then we'll just let you we'll let you hang out and you can go uh, attack something next turn. Go ahead and brace. Commander. You, on the other hand, no yeah, you're gonna do some damage this turn. They have a pretty good shot there, but yeah, but all their stuff will have a pretty good shot at you, too. Why don't you jump here, and we'll probably kill this turret. Yep. Uh, 75. Yeah, we have to hit with three, so I, I can't take anything back just in case we miss. Yeah, it's a little bit overkill, but I, I think that that was the right decision to make. We don't want to leave That's any of these turrets alive, guys. The biggest mistake we can make right now is leaving any of these turrets alive. Go after that light laser turret. Flatline, you've been the G, man. Uh, yeah, you have no heat, heat accumulation. See, that's another thing, too. I probably could get rid of the heat sink and give him another medium laser. Like, sure, that would, that would make him significantly less heat, but, like, honestly, he has just no heat problems. And he's pretty much jumping every time. Can't hit anything with those, but nonetheless. I'm reading heavy damage to an enemy structure. Yup, we're gonna start bringing them down. I don't think they have any more uh, turrets, so. Engaging jump jet. Do it. Pew, pew, pew. There it is. Enemy structure down. Local government munitions facility. Sorry, guys. It's really not my war, but they're paying me well. Um. Let's dial them all up. What do we got? 100, 100, 150? Let's take out the 150. Oh, you missed miserably. Wow. That must have been an indirect shot there, huh? Cornbread. 92? Yeah. You'll kill it. There's two out uh, three. A lot easier when everyone's dead. Go after the large military building here. Hell yeah. Take down the big one. There we go. We don't need to. We killed everybody. No need to get to the LZ if you murder everybody. All targets eliminated. Excellent. So good little money mission, guys. I really think that was worth it. Sets ourselves up for the um, excellent, excellent um, flashpoint, urban warfare flashpoint for the next episode because I am going to have to go ahead and put it on this video. Huge cash payout, guys. Look at the size of that bonus. That was just great. We lost a jump jet, but who cares? Um, hmm, I don't like Shadowhawks. I don't really care about that. Let's uh, make our way towards another fire starter. It's always good to have a lot of money. Uh, excellent. One of those jump jets that we lost. We'll get right back.
Excellent. Yes. I am most likely just going to do those repairs uh, in between episodes, guys. But thank you so much for coming out. I really appreciate it. I'll do the repairs. And uh, honestly, big teaser, guys. For the next time, we are doing the first mission in the Tournament of Champions. Doesn't matter. We don't even need to wait around to repair any of our mechs. We're obviously going to go in the mech bay, and I'll get the repairs going. But we don't even need to wait for them because we're not even using our own mechs in the Tournament of Champions. So pretty cool. Go ahead and then toss that in the other bay. Um, pretty sweet that we don't even need to stick our own necks on the line, but thank you so much for coming out. I really appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, getting ready for the sweet new Flashpoint in the next episode. Uh, any support, the channel is pretty new. Any support would be most appreciated, guys. A like, a comment, subscribe is all the support I ever need. Uh, any of that would be most appreciated, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.